So once you have your invoice, you just print it out and Okay, so it says to send two copies of, of the invoice, which is this one. I already took a, already made a, a copy. And of your 2290. So I don't have the 2290, but <clears throat> there's a website where I file my highway taxes. If you just go there and get a copy. That's the one, so we just print it out. I just went ahead and <clears throat> excuse me, print that out. So we got the, the two invoices on this last part with the vehicle information and the 2290. So if you filed for uh, your plates after March 1st, you can go to uh, FedEx and mail it with a, a one day or three day. You gotta pay extra for that. And you can buy a return envelope. So when they're done filing, They'll put it in the return envelope and send it to you, and you will also get it in a day or two. Because if you just turn it in, it's going to go by regular mail, and then by the time it's processed, and by the time they send it back, it may get back to you after March 31st, and you won't be able to drive because you wouldn't have plates. So it all depends how fast you wanted to get it. If you don't mind taking a couple days off, then you can just send it regular mail, or a seven-day, uh, I mean a three-day. Uh, envelope and you'll be good you usually if you send regular mail you would probably get it back within two and a half weeks maybe but if you if you're late or you want to secure it send it through FedEx or UPS whatever you have to get a money order on the amount of money you can pay with a credit card but you have to pay in person so for Illinois you have to go to Springfield and have an appointment so, uh, money order or cashier's check, whichever one. Make the check or money order payable to Illinois Secretary of State or Illinois SOS. Okay, so I got all my um, papers ready, not this one. It's going to be two copies of this and one of the 2290 with the vehicle information and the 2290. And I'm going to go mail it right now. I already sent the the cashier's check and all the papers that I need for the plates <clears throat> I should be getting there I paid for the three day so it's gonna get there in three days and let's say a day for processing or two and then they're gonna send it by regular mail it's uh, I still got time so if they return in regular mail I'll, I'll still get it on time but if you don't file on time send it uh, next day and they pay for the return envelope to be a, a, a same a next day. That way you'll get it in like within a week, in like three days. So, so yeah, that's how I do. Oh, look, that's a panel that I it, I took to the shop so they can get painted. It's on the other side, so that's why you don't really see it. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm showing you. That. <laughs> well, yeah, that's how I uh, renew my plates. Uh, if you can renew them yourself, that's great. That way you don't have to pay money because I don't know how much they charge. I've heard places charge like 200 bucks. You can do it like in 10 freaking minutes. Um, to each their own. Some people rather pay and not do the hassle. But yeah, that's that's how I do it. So, so that'll be it for this video. Like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one.